Now, in order to understand why the egg on the hard tile experiences a greater impact force than the egg on the cushion, we're going to go back and revisit Newton's second law. Newton's second law helped us understand the relationship between the net force exerted on an object, the mass of that object, and the resulting acceleration of that object. Using our definition of acceleration as a change in an object's velocity over time, we can actually rearrange this expression to relate the change in momentum of an object, like so. If we know that acceleration is change in velocity over change in time, or we can say delta v over delta t, we can plug that expression in instead of a, and our equation would look like this now. Now, if I'd like to get rid of that delta t in the denominator on the right-hand side of this expression, I can multiply both sides by delta t. And if I do, my expression will look like this. Now, if I look on the right-hand side of my expression, I see that this is the mass multiplied by the change in velocity, m times delta t. Well, I know that right momentum is just mass times velocity. And so if I think about an object where the mass of that object is not changing, right? In other words, it's got the same mass before and after, it's, nothing's happening to it, then the change in momentum could just be expressed as the mass of an object times its change in velocity right? Again, keeping mass constant. Well, if I express this m delta v term instead as a change in momentum, I can actually substitute that in right here for the right-hand side of my expression. And I'll see then that the net force multiplied by the time over which that force is applied, delta t, is equal to delta p. And so what we've just done is we've related the change in momentum, right? This is the change, delta, the delta is a Greek letter that means change, change in momentum of any object experiencing some sort of external force is just that force multiplied by the time, delta t, that that force is acting for. And so the longer that that force is acting, right, the more change in our momentum and the shorter time during which that force is being applied, then the less change in momentum we'll have. This is how Isaac Newton actually expressed his Newton's second law originally, in terms of changing momentums, not in terms of acceleration. I'll rewrite this equation below. So we can say that the delta p, in other words, the change in momentum of any object undergoing some external force. And in the case of an egg hitting the ground, right, the ground exerts an external force on that egg, is equal to the magnitude of that net force. And we're going to say it's the average. Um, it's the average force exerted on that object because over that whole time period where the egg is touching the ground, the force may fluctuate. But we're just going to say the average net force multiplied by the contact time. In other words, how long those two objects are in contact for. And so now that we've related the change in momentum of an object to the net force exerted on it, and the time that the object is in contact with whatever is exerting that force on it, we can understand why the egg on the hard tile broke and the egg on the cushion did not. Recall from the video that the egg on the hard tile stopped in a time of around 4 milliseconds, while the egg on the cushion stopped in a time of about 10 milliseconds. And also recall, if both eggs had the same initial momentum, right? So uh, the initial momentum was the same, and the final momentum was the same. They both had a final momentum of zero. They both had the same initial mass and velocity. Then the change in momentum for each egg, right, should be the same. So if the change in momentum of each egg is the same, then when I decrease the time here, right, by shortening the time of impact. In other words, by having hard tile, the force went way up, right? Those two multiplied by each other have to be the same amount for both eggs because that's the change in the egg's momentum. And now on the right-hand side, by increasing the impact time, right, almost two and a half times, I decreased the force. So here the force would be essentially 2.5 times bigger on the hard tile than on the cushion. 
And it's because of this increase, this stretching the time of collision that the egg on the cushion experiences that we're able to reduce the force so much.